Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise, and welcome back to the worst day of the week for this Kingstead. And, from the depths, let's build. So it's been a while since uh, part two of our Frontsider airship, and I reckon it's about time we finish this build off. And I'm going to try and get it all done today. There's not a huge amount that needs to be done. Like, like I've said before, there's never really an actual point where you can call a craft finish. There's always things you can improve on. But, uh, yeah, this airship is getting reasonably close. Like, it does most of what I wanted to do at the moment. So, I should probably go over what's changed, because despite uh, me trying to restrain myself from uh, what changing it too much between episodes, uh, it is still... Well, yeah, I changed a fair bit. So, for a start... You'll notice the guns are a bit different. It is a much smaller gauge. These are 200 millimeters now. And the shells are a lot smaller. So before we were kind of mucking around with 8 meter uh, shells, 500 millimeters. These are 4 meters long, 200 millimeters. So most of that is just gunpowder casings to make it very fast. I think the Tetris is a lot better now. I think. I hope. Yeah, apart from uh, just the ones right on the end here, which only have uh, one gauge on them. And there's probably something I could stick in here. But, uh, yeah, that's a, I always try and leave a little bit of space in designs when I'm building them, just in case. Because, as I say, upgrades happen a lot. And, yeah, I should probably show you the ammunition, because the ammunition is uh, uh, pretty important. So, uh, first off we have, uh, and some people might wince looking at this, this is... 200 millimeters, uh, hollow point, two solid warheads, uh, frag warhead set to 60, inertial fuse base beater, the rest is gunpowder, so this is a very fast shell, well it's not very fast, it's pretty fast, 600 meters per second, it's pretty good, there's a decent amount of kinetic damage, lots of frag damage, and yep, so that one works quite nicely I find, and here, this is definitely going to make some people cry, it is a combined uh, hash heat shell, I could possibly split them up into one hash and one heat, and I really didn't want to use Hesh because Hesh is just, it's really good, it's just too good, it makes fights boring because like it eats through armor like it's not even there. Like heat is still, like it's very very strong but it's not an instant win button because especially things like the Kingstead way off in the distance there are quite resistant to it because they have huge air gaps in them and that really reduces the effectiveness of heat. But here we are, all the H8 warhead bodies are set to special factor of 1. The shape charge is set to a uh, penetration metric of 20, because I've learned now how this actually works. It's just like, it's a square root of the armor or something. That's how much penetration metric you need to get through one meter of it. And as I seem to recall, oh goodness, I can't do square roots for the life of me. But suffice to say, this can get through a lot of metal and multiple layers of heavy armor. So 20 is plenty. It's apparently you don't really need to go higher than this for the most part, and getting the particle count up is uh, really good for damage. So that is what this thing is firing right now. There are other changes as well. It's got extra turning thrusters on the side here because I this thing needs to turn quickly. That It, it must do that because uh, otherwise uh, like, this thing is very vulnerable from the sides and back, like all front siders. And... What else, what else? It also has extra forward thrust. So these are ACP controlled little thrusters I've just tagged on the side here, because this thing uh, tends to go backwards a lot faster than it goes forwards, and that's not really any good. I could stick more thrusters on these uh, fins right here, but uh, we don't really need them for now. And... Yeah, so it's it's got more ACBs, that's for sure. And like, uh, what, 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 what? And part of the reason it's got more ACBs, so you can see uh, right here, right at the not the best place for them. Actually, it's got just uh, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, plus, I think four more in the back. Eleven plus no, nope, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And some people in the comments are saying, like, dude, you can get rid of some of the ACBs just by adding a PID or uh, using the breadboard, shock horror. But I like ACBs. I know what, exactly what each one of this, these things does. And if something goes wrong, I only have to tweak one of them to fix it. So, sorry, I am rolling with that for now. 
And if this thing is pretty stable already, it gets shots off quite nicely. And another benefit of using a smaller gauge guns is that they track a lot better. They get more shots off. Is the thing? Yep, AI did. Awesome, awesome. So, uh, what else? So one of the reasons got uh, more ACBs is got it has strafing now. So if you want to make a front sider really irritating, what you can do, as well as make it bob up and down and move back and forth, you can make it move from side to side. Now, there's multiple ways to do this. You can use daddy blades for that. And you can do clever things with spin blocks and like ACBs going off timers and stuff like that. What I've done here is these things are set to these control inputs, so T and I, and the other side is the opposite. So I believe I have stuck that, yeah, and I've even painted them for this occasion, aren't I clever? So, when there's an enemy, basically this thing works off similar conditions to the Deadly Blades in the back, moving back and forth. If there's an enemy between, well, uh, 2700 to 5000 meters, it activates one control key, so it goes it goes to its... this is the one controlled by... Uh, yeah, so it moves to the right uh, when enemies are at one distance, and it moves to the left uh, when they're a bit closer. And because this thing keeps uh, shooting back and forth uh, at distance, so let me show you what I mean. Let's spawn in a Kingstead again. So, Kingstead... Ugh, laggy. So you see, right here, moving one way, and they actually also help with turning a little bit, which is very convenient. Where are we? Jeez. And this thing actually moves quite fast, like canoe shape has its benefits. So yeah, still going one way, and strafing to the side quite a bit. And that's enough, because this thing is so narrow, uh, it tends to, like, neatly sidestep uh, shots. It gets very, some of them get too close for comfort. But it's possible to make a uh, craft uh, jitter around a lot more than this. Could even stick extra jets on them. We we'll see it's moving sideways, and yeah. So those cram shells never had a chance in the first place, and it even can dodge reasonably fast ones. I tested this thing against a kobold earlier, and it almost won, to my amazement, because the kobold not only has very fast kinetic shells, but uh, it also has very big, scary, uh, timed-fused, high-explosive shells, which is, uh, can spell death for something as like the armor does this quite easily. But no, it managed to dodge almost everything, and, uh, I only stopped the fight, uh, when this, when this thing got its detection clipped off, just by accident, so, a good shields and active defenses, uh, will fix that quite nicely. So yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite pleased with this thing so far. So, it's also modified rate of fire because uh, these guns uh, gotten to the point they have zero cooldown, which isn't very efficient, but unfortunately it's necessary for the Tetris. And I just needed to cut that down by a lot because uh, if guns fire too fast, they can just empty. So it's just 600 uh, rounds per second. It can easily go to max maximum rate of fire, but I find it eats too much ammo. Like it already burns through ammo incredibly quickly. This is one of the problems with the. Uh, making front siders like this compact, is that uh, because they fire so quickly, so the Kobold has barely any ammo reserves at all, it just relies on ammo processors instead. And the trick is with craft like this, you need to kill things very, very fast, otherwise, like, your entire budget gets eaten up by ammo production. So, they have, I've actually written a to-do list uh, for this episode, so it doesn't take too long, even though I've just spent 10 minutes just waffling on. So, what this thing desperately needs is a LAM system, and fortunately, the laser update that happened just the other day, perfect timing. It also needs a torpedo, at least one little torpedo, and a sonar buoy so it can spot things that are in the water a bit better. It also needs a SeaWiz, or close-in weapon systems, just in case, just to shoot down things that get too close. And I actually have an idea on that. And it's also, also extra armor on the underside couldn't hurt, because as of right now, uh, there is one layer of alloy between the big scary outside world and all this expensive uh, stuff right here. In fact, I'm going to just, while I'm here, just for giggles, I'm going to replace a whole bunch of these ammo processors uh, with material storage. There's like, there's no actual benefit to that, considering I usually play on centralized resource anyway, but it just uh, 
cuts down the material consumption a little bit. I could actually stick, uh, could I stick more ammo in the back? I could, maybe, oh, I totally could. What am I doing with, okay, never mind, scratch everything. I am going to extend the ammo up a bit because there's, there's no real reason for this air gap right here. Because if we get hit by heat shells anyway, we're dead. So air gaps are a little bit pointless. So let's go here. Oh yeah, they fixed the. They have fixed the. Uh, the these two and uh, four meter ammo boxes, by the way, they now work really well. So we're just gonna go here. And we're gonna quickly fill. Yay! Extra ammo. So that's not going to. Uh, eliminate our problem but it is going to take a little bit of pressure just uh, off okay hello here you are sorry like i have been uh listening to electro swing uh remixes of classic Di disney songs and i've got uh everybody wants to be a cat stuck in my head like I won't apologize, but if I start uh, randomly singing that or humming the tune, I am sorry. Like, <laughs> it's just, it's in my head and it won't get out. Okay. Like, I, I was quite pleased, actually, to see in the comment section, like, I don't remember whether it was part one or part two, but uh, I, I just kind of uh, did a little bit of Pink Floyd. And just, I love how people picked up on that. Like, it's good. It's good old music. It's great stuff. Uh, yeah, okay, so, let's save right there, and yes, we've got ideas for the name of this thing. So, uh, someone pointed out that this thing from the side, it looks a lot like a fish. And I agree with that, it does look kind of fishy, in more sense than one. And, <laughs> someone, and uh, someone else, and I'm so sorry I don't remember your name, because this is solid gold, recommend this thing should be called the Canoe Bold, because it's a canoe, and it's also like the Kobold, so... That's definitely going to be its unofficial name from now on, even if I come up with uh, something a little sexier for its real name. So, what was the first thing? Lambs! That's it. Lambs. Ba Lambs. Okay, so we have more engine power than we know what to do with, so... We're going to just put this right here. Block this off, just because. And here is where our lamb system is going to go. Yeah, definitely needs another layer. So, actually, what we can do, we can... I have a plan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, darn it. Uh, one, two, three, aha, okay. Hopefully Disney doesn't copyright me. Okay, so first things first, we want... Darn it, no, we don't want that. We want this, and then we want that multi-purpose laser. Here. And... What else do we want? We want the connectors. So yeah, like, uh... I didn't get everything right in my uh, laser update video, which isn't surprising, because I wasn't great with lasers to begin with. But, like, uh, Lamb's actually kind of got a buff again, so... Uh, Lamb's nodes previously, and I completely forgot about this, they had their power reduced by about half. So, that was, uh... Well, no, they reduced to one-fifth, and that's gone now, so... Lamb systems are now actually stronger now, it's just that, uh... Cram shells and kinetic missiles have been buffed as well, so it might not be noticeable. It means that Lamb systems are now incredibly good at uh, dealing with uh, large APS shells. Like, really, um, there are certain designs in the game that are just are not so dangerous anymore. The trebuchet is a uh, lot less scary now, even if you have a moderate lamb system on your craft. And, like, things like the uh, Kezar, or Cesar, I guess, they're just... their shots just get plinked straight out of the air by even moderate lambs now, so... That's a good thing, but it also means that uh, medium gauge APS is where to go, really, now. Uh, that's one of the reasons why these guns are only 200 millimeters now, is because I was finding that the really big shells had serious trouble getting through lamb systems. And 
let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, no. One, two, three, four, five, six. How much room do we have? Can we stick 12 storage cavities in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we just need. Yeah, we just need one frequency doubler. Thankfully, not many, because they're expensive. Wait, if we go here. Oh. Right, so. Lamb systems do not need much AP. Whoa! Okay. That's uh, 800 AP. That's a little weird. Right. Okay, so. Hopefully, that gets fixed with the pumps, because I don't actually want that much. Yeah, so LAM systems uh, don't exactly have a lot of power consumption anymore, so this uh, shouldn't really... Okay, that is charging way too slowly. Mm. One more of these. So, I am tempted... In fact, you know what? I am going to try this. Minus the Q switches, just to start off with, because I want to see how good continuous lambs are, because I like continuous laser systems. I just, I know, I'm weird like that. They also have a lot of AP, so perhaps they don't need frequency doublers at all. So, if we do that now, the AP should uh, start... Ugh, it needs at least two AP, that's very annoying. Hmm... Okay. So now, what we want, we want a transceiver. Right here. Now. Question is now, where shall we stick the lambs notes? Because they need to be out here somewhere, I think. Have some placeholders right there. Don't actually want that. Stick one there. Let's paint these bright, obnoxious colors so we know what we're doing. See, like, this is why I am get half a prize for elevating these munition warners ahead of time because ye gods my life would be so hard now if I hadn't done that okay cool 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 cool, cool. okay this does require putting a hole in my armor right now but that is something I just yeah I don't remember lamb's notes being this expensive so maybe I just haven't been paying attention so let's go here I'm gonna be very modest to start off with we're just going to I have four little lamb's nodes. Oh wow, that's in a solid lump of metal. Okay, that actually could be better. Whoopsie daisy, whoopsie poopsie. So yeah, I'm excited for the full release of From the Depths. How about you guys? I'm keen as mustard for that. This is very thin armor. I'm not a huge fan of that. Okay, do 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 and this is probably two meters is nope, we can put a three meter beam in here just because. Okay, how disastrous will this be, do you think? Also, possibly shouldn't... Yeah, this is going to be... One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah. Hmm. 
I need to be clever now. Unfortunately, sometimes my brain doesn't like to be clever. You know what that's like, right? <laughs> yeah, heat is going to be a real nightmare for this thing, so it's just as well it dodges. Wow, look how the cost has spiked up. That's 10,000 materials already. Every time. Wait, let's not connect these things. Okay, we're, we're over here. Over here. Let me stick a thing. Oh my god, I am not a genius. I am the opposite. I am a fool. A damn fool. Okay, that's it. That's some redundancy just there. It's just so that it means that if this top, uh, this front lamp system gets broken, it means the other one isn't broken as well. So, it's continuous. So, we're going to have it be... Let's have it stick it to blue... Range width below. Let's set that to three. What's the damage fall off of these things? So the damage at 500 meters is only 60%. And you can set this up really high, by the way. You can set that all the way up to 1,000. We're going to be modest. We're going to. We don't want this thing shooting at things that it's dodging anyway. So we're going to set that very, very low. Copy that all to vehicle. And we're going to see if that does the trick. So now here comes some more testing. Take your time. Okay, so remember that we were testing against a perforator before. I've, uh, experimenting afterwards, by the way, missile countermeasures just do not work well with this thing. And that is just because front side is in, well, airborne front side is in general don't play well with it. Because missiles can come at them from too many different angles. Like, you can definitely do it. I just, it's not going to be time efficient for me to, to get this thing working that way. And it's just, uh... Yeah, so miss it's like if you okay, well here's the perforator, so let's take this as an example. It's got pretty f freaky good countermeasures. Here you have a ship. Uh, missiles come at it pretty much from the front, from the back, from the sides, and from the top, and it broadsides things. So it's from here. So it's really just from the sides and from the top. If you fling a countermeasure like this thing does, like here they are, straight up, uh, missiles can get pulled from any direction they're coming from. So whether they're coming from the back, from the front, from the sides, or from the top, they get pulled and get flung into space. So that works pretty well. A, that, this airship we're working on right now, uh, missiles, because it flies so high up and moves around a lot, missiles come, can come from any direction. So if you, like, f especially if they've got uh, guidance systems that mean they lead the target, um, just they, will come at it from all directions and often like any countermeasures you fling the vehicle itself will be between the countermeasure and the incoming missile which means it doesn't work but hopefully now we've stuck a lamb system on it it should work and uh, those of you who know lambs really well are probably uh, yelling at me already if i've done something wrong but nonetheless i will figure it out very quickly So yeah, particle cannons. Oh no, please miss. Okay, this is the moment of glory. Can it zap all? Nope. Nope, it can not. That is unfortunate. That was not good. Okay, so. Let's try it again, but with the Q thing. I might... Uh, up the engagement distance of uh, that, of these things. So, firstly, uh, set that to 200. And minimum, really, no. So, I don't want this thing shooting at anything. Oh, God, I don't want it shooting at little tiny shells. So, minimum gauge is 250, let's say. So, let's do that. Because if it's spitting 200 millimeter shells at us, that like that's a waste. They get through anyway because they they get spit out so quickly. 
So let's do that, and let's do... What's it, what's it, what's it, what's it, what's it, what's it? There's a thing I want to do, okay. One, two, three, four, five. And save, and we're gonna test this thing again. Like so. Perfy perf. Like, there's no particular reason to use the perforator for this, except that it spits out a lot of missiles. And it has a lot of uh, APS that it can be quite difficult to dodge. And it has a particle cannon. And one of the reasons that, uh, like, I was testing against the Terawatt uh, not so long ago. And I've rediscovered my hate for particle shotguns. So packs themselves are balanced, as I have has been patiently explained to me. And as I found out for myself in trying to build my own. But these pack shotguns on the Terawatt in the Perforator... They suck. They're, it's only possible because they eat entire uh, coal deposits worth of resources every time they fire. So it's very annoying. And it's like cheesy as hell to deal with as well. Okay, so the lambs isn't wasting its time shooting at uh, these wee fast shells. That's nice. So in here. Oh jeez, that was very close. Oh my god, are you serious? That's, uh, not great. We need more. We need more power on these lambs. What I could do is, okay, 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 okay. I need to spawn in something and I need to see these lambs start working because they might be draining power too fast. So, sustain damage. What's the sustain damage? Sustain damage is pretty good. And we're going to have a problem with overkill, aren't we? So let's spawn in something a little bit more modest that we know we can deal with. So turn that off. Dun, 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 dun. This is why testing is very good for you. It's good for the brain. Okay, let's see. How fast is this ring? Wow, are these missiles even going to come close? Oh yeah, that's draining way, 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 way too quickly. Okay, we got a problem here. We have a problem like there's too much power. Like, why is that? Jeez. So let's see, how long do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, so... So 17, what's half of 17? 8, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Let's go 9... Because we have power to burn, by the way. We have a lot of power still. That behemoth in the back. I keep forgetting just how much power you get out of those things. If you haven't uh, had a play with the useful fuel engine platform uh, over on the workshop, like, yeah, like, do yourself a favor. This is actually not a huge lamb system, I'm just finding. So, what? Uh, how's the sustained damage? Okay, let's try. See, here's the problem, is that, uh... uh when this thing needs to be able to take a really hefty missile barrage. Damage the next shot, like, a thousand is a lot. Okay. We're gonna try the continuous again. Yes, I know. Probably don't need to. And we're gonna stick another storage unit in here, because I just wanna see... You need at least two AP for, uh... It's got one AP. Mm, let's see how badly this works. Or how well this works. So this is the tweaking stage, people. Like, there's not big sweeping changes happening right here. So let's go back to our friend. And by friend, I mean I hate it. Perfy perf. The permerator. No. Perf. What? That uh, starts with the, the perfuminator. Okay. So this is, a uh, like, that's the new name for the perforator, people. It's the perfume factory. 
Well, it's the nasty perfume factory because it stinks. It reeks of uh, particle cannon cheese. Let's do that. And for those who are wondering, yes, I am planning to stick shields all over this thing. Dodge, yes! Dodge, you magnificent little person. Dodge, bounce up and down. Let's see. Can you handle all this? Uh, excuse me? What? Oh, it doesn't have any pointing forward, you stupid... Okay, that was my bad. That was my bad, and I take full responsibility for that. I'm not bloody putting lamb's nodes forward. If you're wondering why I'm spawning this thing underwater, it's because there's still missiles in the air and I don't want to deal with that right now. Okay, so. Silly, silly me. Also, uh, if you're having trouble with things coming in and killing you too fast, uh, sticking uh, your lambs, sticking your munition warners out on the extreme ends of your craft, so at maximum height, maximum length, so on either end, and at maximum width, that helps a little bit. Because it means they can spot things coming in just a little bit sooner. I could just stick all of these darn things here, but okay. Oh, I have not been clever. Okay. Okay, that, uh, hmm, I should probably move this thing up by one, because that just looks ugly. But we'll test it anyway. So, we got the settings we want on here. Copy it all vehicle. I'm not a fan of blue. Let's go for white. Save. See, that was a very poor showing. Okay. Perfy perf. Perfy perf. Perfy perfy perf. This might require more than one episode. Like, I don't know. I want to finish this thing up. Like, my to-do list is very small. But getting it right takes a while. This, this is this game in a nutshell. It's just, you can list the way to build a ship. But getting it exactly right, that's what takes time. Actually, I have no idea how the perforator is handling being shot at like this. Thank goodness that particle cannons suck uh, at a long range. Wait. No, okay, good. Uh, what is going on there? Those... Uh, the lamp system isn't even firing properly. Like, at all. Like, what? Hello? Can you... What? Am, am I stupid? Am I missing something important? What? Like... What? I made a video on the bloody thing earlier, but the lambs aren't firing. Wh why is that? Like, excuse me? Why is that? Okay, I need, I need something that has missiles and only missiles and I don't know what I can use. Oh wait, I know what I can use. Steel Striders. Banshee, it has... No, wait. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Oh, I missed a bloody Q switch. That's what happened. Yeah, and that's what happens <laughs> when this thing gets hit. I kind of like that, actually. It's fun. 
Right, so uh, rather than try and repair you, let's spawn you in again. That's why this lamb system needs to work first time. Now, how many of you were yelling at me that I missed that? To be fair, it was well hidden. Let's try that. What's the color of this? It is white. Yes. I was wondering was like why the lambs was like seemed to fire just for a split second and then stop. It's like durr. Q switch. You missed one. I have no excuse for that. None whatsoever. Like even I was about to say I've had more than one cup of coffee. I haven't. I guess that could be an excuse. But don't rely on caffeine to be productive, kids. It's a it's a bad habit. Get a good night's sleep instead. Did I do that? Did it, Do I practice what I preach? No, no, I do not. No, I still have a bedtime that makes that's I don't know. I have the bedtime of a crazy eighteen-year-old. Actually, not that crazy, but I don't. I don't know. I'm rambling. Up. I'm just trying to cover up the fact that I'm embarrassed that I missed something bleedingly obvious. Okay, let's see if this actually works now. Like, four Q lambs will probably do better no matter what. But I still want to try continuous lambs. Still want to try it. Look at you dodging shells like a champion. Frame rate's dropping a little bit. Let's... Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Jeez. Like, damn it. Not having a good time here. Okay, so... I am now going to be doing something rather wacky. And that wacky thing is saying screw storage cavities. Like, why is this draining so fast? I don't understand it. Like, I know that the ratio of... Uh, I should have known, actually. The ratio of pumps to storage cavities has changed for lambs. Now, because it's a little different. Like, you can't use up storage very well, except right there I was. Let's see now, because with continuous lands you do need a lot more pumps. Okay, that's so that's better sustained damage. Damage of net shot is almost nothing, but that's okay. Let's try this. This is going to be very silly. Power needed 10,000. Easy. I think. We have to see. Okay, let's spawn in the Banshee again. Yay, this lamb still sucks. Damn it. I'm still in the mindset of, like, lambs being somewhat good. Well, they are good. I'm just not making this thing right. That's annoying. I honestly did think that this would take a lot less time than it's taking right now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Glass cannons. We can make this work. Maybe I should stick Sea Wiz on here. Or maybe I can... What if I just do this? What if I just say screw it? Yeah, let's... You know what? Let's try this. You know, try anything once. Will those missiles even have the range for that, or am I wasting even more of your time? Or 
Oh yeah, those have the range. Wait! Crud. I forgot I was meant to be looking at this. Something tells me that didn't work very well. Hello? Oh my god, jeez. Why is this so hard? This was meant to take all of five minutes. Oh, for crying out loud. <sighs> Borderwise hates lambs, except now he hates building them. Mother of God. What is with you? You've got the power. You've got every... Can you piss off, please? Okay, continuous lambs, not the way to go. Not the way to go. We need more damage. Can you stop it? Oh, no. Rambot, stop repairing. You are impeding progress. Why am I bothering to repair this thing? Ah, uh, yep, save it, save it, save it. Save it. See, it's amazing how uh, things go back and forth. I was being nice and proud of this thing. It's just... Lots of banshees. Screw the perforator. If it can't stop this, then, uh... I don't know what I'm gonna do. This is not going to be enough, is it? You have to see... You want to see the power drain... Oh my god, this sucks. I was so sure that a lambs would be the solution to all of my problems. Nope. No, it is not. If anyone knows what I'm doing wrong right now, I would love to hear about it. Let's have a look at this again. What is going wrong here? Something stupid is what? You know, back in the day, this... I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. At this point, I'm just placing blocks randomly. So destabilizers apparently aren't as useful as I was making them out to be. you did. That might be part of the problem. Okay, that's a lot better. Hold on the phone. Hold on the phone. Who was phone? I was phone. I was phone the whole time. Oh my god, I've been mucking around for 45 minutes. No, there's still so much stuff to do. Darn it. Go away, missiles. We don't have time for you. We've got stuff to do. This video should just be called Borderwise Lamb's Misadventures or something like that. I don't know. That could be a good comic strip. Ah! Arg! Arg! And other caveman noises. Everybody wants to be a cat. Because a cat's the only cat. Who knows where it's at? Everybody's picking up that feel I beat. Cause everything else is obsolete. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Okay, so that worked better is actually blowing up stuff. I'm just gonna look, see. Nope. Nope. The 
this is not working. Did you just what? Where'd you even get hit? Uh, frig, frig, wife of Odin. Try something wacky. And by wacky, I mean I hope those missiles go away soon. Oh, God. go up. Great, now I've still got Disney music stuck in my head. Thanks, brain. I love you too. Classic lamb system action going on right here. Can't that even shoot at anything? things don't come at it directly from the front because it's so pointy it comes at things from the side of it maybe maybe that's all I needed to do maybe I don't know I don't know we also have this obnoxious little gap right in the middle here which I want to do something with hang on one two three four five Ugh. Mm. wide boat Wide boat is better than skinny boat. As much as I hate to admit it. Okay, just trying to get the land assist right. I'm trying to get the land assist right. With the space I have. Except now that lambs have been updated, like, I don't know. Probably only Draba knows. The best lambs to use right now. You might think like, oh, Borderwise, just tone it down a bit. Don't use three banshees as testing dummies. No, we are using three banshees as testing dummies. For good reason. Because it is overkill. And if your craft can handle overkill, they can handle underkill. Nope, don't shoot, don't shoot. Thank you. Okay, this is the moment. What goes wrong, what goes right. That's a little better, but still not great. Well, it's only because these damn things are explosive. Damn it. Ah, gosh, dang it. Here I thought I knew how to lambs. I don't know how to lambs. I've lucked out. Let's 
What if we... Can you piss off, please, you stupid missiles? You know what we need in the designer? What we need... Go away, will you, please? God! What we need... Very badly... Is something that allows us to just delete all projectiles. Because... Having to restart the free... Can you repair... No! Rambot! Stop it! Freaking Rambot! Repair. Thank you. You are repaired? Good. What was I saying? So just, it's annoying to have to repair the design because you've, you have totally, innocently spawned in uh, way more... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Missiles that last a long time. Okay, let's see. Can this work? All right, so I'm going a little bit bananas with the fr with the laser destabilizers, but I think yeah, I think maybe maybe I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know. I'm learning as I go. I'm learning as I go. I hope you're learning something or at least uh, not smashing your keyboard too hard with your forehead watching me fiddle around here. Ermagerd, please just zap every missile like a good like a good person. I'm impressed by how this thing dodges entire volleys of missiles simply because they knock each other knock each other out of the way. Let's see if this works. Almost! Oh, that was better than last time. Nope. Close, but no avocado. Right, last ditch thing. Last ditch, I tell ye. We're going to be very cheeky. I'm going to put another laser line through the middle. Invisible missiles, my favorite. Go away! Missiles! I'm an idiot. I can't stick more Q-switch in here. You know what that means? Last ditch experiment, because at this point I'm mostly given up hope. We're just gonna do this. this gonna work? I don't know. Do we have enough power for this even? I don't know either. How much power do we need? Uh, do oh, 10,000. Okay, no, we're still good. As long as it's not too much. So what does that bring us to? That determines with next shot with 28, and that's because these things are zero Q now. Okay, last one. Let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's let's see. Let's not A or or B or D or F or G. Let's see. Come on now. One last test, and uh, where we either triumph completely or just admit defeat. And I have that much needed cup of coffee. And you can. I I don't I, I don't know. What do you? That's a good. That's a question that just occurred to me. When. You fine people have had your uh, midweekly daily dose of Borderwise. What do you do afterward? Like, do you just keep watching other things? Watch more of my things? Watch more of other people's things? Do you, like, is it like a bedtime ritual? Like, tell me, tell me what you do, because I am now genuinely curious. 
almost as curious. Well, no, more curious, actually. I know this one. Ah, no! Don't do that. Okay. Zero Q lambs. Zero Q lambs are also going to get buffed uh, not long from now, by the way. Because uh, Draba has heard the complaints. I say the complaints. Oh my god, that is awful. That is terrible. You blew up my... Okay, that does it. Screw you. And by screw you, I mean screw me, because there we go. Yep. Well. I think we can safely call this an, an hour of uh, science and experimentation. And, uh, yeah. Because we accomplished not a hell of a lot. This, this is how building goes sometimes can take you days or months or weeks or years to figure out what you're doing wrong. Back in the day, that lamb system would have worked. Actually, no, I have no excuse. Sorry. Actually, no, it would have worked because it's more... It would have been more power in a smaller space and it would have been A-OK. -okay. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and I will see you Next time in From the Depths, let's build and hopefully we can finish off this uh, poor airship and actually make it somewhat missile proof. Farewell!